Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these red velvet Hollywood glamour cupcakes. I made these for my cousin's birthday and everybody loved them so I'm going to show you how to make them. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 180 degrees. So there are quite a lot of ingredients for these cupcakes but they are so worth it, trust me. You're going to need 250 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of caster sugar, 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, 100 grams of unsalted butter, 2 large eggs, 1 large tablespoon of red food colouring, 175 millilitres of buttermilk, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract and 1 teaspoon of cider vinegar. So the first thing you need to do is mix all your dry ingredients together in the same bowl, so your flour, your cocoa powder, your bicarbonate of soda and your baking powder. Next take your electric mixer and put in your sugar and your butter and just whisk that all together until they've mixed together nicely. Next put in your red food colouring and mix that together until it's a bright red colour. Then put two tablespoons of the dry ingredients into the mixer followed by one of the eggs. Then put three large tablespoons of the dry mixture into the bowl, followed by the second egg. Then spoon in the rest of the dry ingredients and mix it all together until it's well combined. Once you've got a nice creamy mixture, you can pour in your buttermilk, making sure you get it all in there and then just mix it again until it's all combined. Then you can pop your muffin cases into your cake tins. I thought I would have enough for 18, but I only had enough for 15 in the end, which is why there's three missing. <laughs> then pop your cupcakes into the oven and put them on the timer for 10 minutes. Once they're baked, you need to wait for them to cool for about half an hour before you can ice them. But in that time, you can start making the frosting. So for the frosting, you're going to need 200 grams of cream cheese, 500 grams of icing sugar, 125 grams of unsalted butter, and one teaspoon of cider vinegar, but you could also use lemon juice. Next, put your icing sugar into the bowl and whisk it around to get any lumps out. Then you can add in your butter and then your cream cheese. Mix that all together until it's nice and creamy. Once that's all combined, you can add your cider vinegar or lemon juice, and then your icing should be ready. You can test it because it will make stiff peaks like this if you pop a spoon in and pull it out again. To put your icing into a piping bag without any mess, I like to put my chosen nozzle into my bag first, and then get the bag and put it over the sides of a big glass, pulling it down, and then it makes it a lot easier for me to put my icing in, and it doesn't get all over my hands. Once your cupcakes are completely cool, you can ice them all. I ice them in this the classic swirl kind of way, as I'm showing here. And then once they're all done, you can start making your decorations. For my decorations, I use these things. I've got a gold shimmer spray, some gold pearls, some chocolate stars, some writing icing, and grey, white, and black coloured fondant. So to make the clapperboard that goes on top of the cakes, I'm just taking a black piece of fondant, rolling it out, and then cutting off the sides to make it into a rectangle. Next, take about a centimetre of the top and just cut that into a line without going all the way to make an opening at top. Next, take a tiny piece of white fondant and make it into a flat rectangle kind of shape and then pop it on diagonally onto the top half of your clapperboard. Then just do this again with two more pieces of fondant. Next, take another small piece of white fondant and roll it out until it's like a really long sausage shape and then just drape it over the middle of your clapperboard. Then do exactly the same as you did with the top half of your clapper board, but just above the centre line you've just made. And 
finally take two tiny little stripes and put them at either end of the bottom part of your clapperboard. And that's it! The next thing I'm going to show you how to make is the movie film reel cake topper. So first of all you need to roll out some grey fondant and choose a circular kind of cutter. I had to use my piping nozzle because I don't have one. And then I'm taking the end of a biro, which is brand new and never been used, so it's completely clean, and just using it to take out four little circles inside that big circle that you've made. And then just do exactly the same on your second circle. Next, take a strip of black fondant and roll it till it's quite flat, and then you can roll it up with your fingers so it's like a spiral. Make sure you leave a little bit left at the end so it looks more like a tape. It's best to leave these guys to dry overnight because then they're nice and hard and they won't go soft when you put them on a cupcake. Um, so once you've let them dry, pop on a little bit of water and then stick the black tape you've made into the middle of one of the discs. And then just put some more water on the other one and pop that on top. And that is your film reel. So for the next stage of my decoration, I'm going to use my gold shimmer spray and just spray six of my cupcakes with it to make them look a bit more glam. And for the 12 that are left, I'm going to decorate them with these gold edible pearls. Then you're ready to put on your cake toppers. I'm going to start with my show reels and then I'm going to put my clapper boards on top as well. I then piped each letter of my cousin's name onto a chocolate star and popped them onto the rest of the cupcakes. Then I put the remaining chocolate stars onto the four that were left. And that's it! I really hoped you enjoyed this tutorial. The cakes went down an absolute storm. Everybody loved them and they taste so, so good. Let me know what you think about them in the comments and I will see you very soon. Bye!